Today in I'll Show You How It's Done, we're going to show you how to make a message that self-destructs in five seconds. A typical tool used in some top spy movies. Send your most secret messages, knowing that it will only be seen by your chosen recipient. To be continued in, I'll show you how it's done. These are the tools and materials you're going to need. You'll also need paper and a silicon gun. To start, cut two pieces from your paper measuring 10 cm by 5 cm. This is the same width as your battery. After, mark 2, 4 and 6 cm from the top on both pieces of paper. Then mark 2.5 cm from the width on one of the pieces. Now join the dots as shown here. One of the pieces only requires the horizontal lines. Continue with the matches. One by one, scrape and tap off the tips using your cutter. Try and collect as much as possible without any splinters or pieces of wood. Once you've finished with all 10 matches, it will look like this. Now take the piece of paper that's been marked into two. This is the piece that goes underneath with the match tip powder, therefore you need to glue using your glue stick along the pencil lines. Following, you're to carefully tip the powder along your glue, spreading it evenly. It needs to look like this. On the second piece of paper, you need to put the metallic paper face down and use your powdered paper to help you mark its centre. Then use your ruler to ensure straight lines. You have to mark the strip here approximately. Then for a second measurement, measure one millimetre of width and mark your second line. Also, you need to measure the width of the battery and mark it on both sides. To finish, place it where it's going to be stuck and mark the measurements of your small piece of paper like so. Now it's ready to be cut. Taking extra care when cutting around the strip area. For best understanding of how it works once finished, here's a demonstration. By touching each end of the battery with the metal paper, it closes the circuit, causing the battery to heat and burn the paper that is wrapped around it. This generates a spark that is enough to set the powder on fire. You can see more in detail now via slow motion. Next, write your secret message on the back of the piece of paper that has been marked horizontally. These marks serve as a line guide. Your message needs to be short, three lines in this case. It's now ready to be attached, but before you're going to mark a small window using the small strip as a central guide so that you can see how it later produces its reaction. Once you have it marked, cut it out so that it looks like this. Next step is to glue the whole surface. First, stick the metal piece face down on the bottom, then your powdered piece of paper. Once finished, the next step is the mechanism. Place the battery in this position and stick it using sellotape. 
Also join one of the ends to the battery. In this case, I'm sticking it to the negative end. Then cut any excess off. It should look like this. On to the positive end where you're going to attach your washer. You have to cut it where indicated, leaving two pieces like so. In this position, place them on your bolt. Once placed, stick them with silicon. It ends up like this. To check that it is positioned properly, screw in your bolt the whole way. If it's okay, then it won't be difficult or tough. It also won't touch the sides. It's now ready to fasten the battery. However, before mark the width of your plastic pieces onto the metal paper. Using your scissors, cut off the excess and dispose of it. Once done, you can attach the piece to the battery. In doing so, the metallic paper must go through the middle of the piece, but be careful that it does not come into contact with the battery. Once attached with silicon, place a piece of paper between the battery and the metallic paper to avoid any accidents. This eliminates any risk of connection while we continue making the mechanism. Later on, the turning of the bolt pushes the metallic paper towards the battery like so. This then closes the circuit, initiating the spark that leads to the destruction that you witnessed earlier. Next, using silicon, stick the flat end of your second bolt to the opposite end of the battery, as straight as possible. If not, the turning of the note won't be even. This is how it should look. The following step is the exterior using your kitchen paper roll. Using the cardboard tube, position the mechanism and measure 10 centimeters. Mark it with pencil ready to cut using your cutter. Next, using the piece of cardboard tube just cut, use your cutter and cut it in half lengthways. This needs to be a clean straight cut, leaving you with two pieces. Take one that will be used as a base for your mechanism. As you can see, the total length of the mechanism should not overlap the tube. You also need to cut some small pieces that will be attached to your nuts and bolts to prevent rubbing when turning your mechanism. Measuring your nut's width, mark it and cut it on your ice cream stick and cut it using your pliers. You need two of these. Following this step, add silicon to one of the sides of the nut and stick it to one of your just cut pieces. Both sides need to be smooth as shown. Now twist your nut onto the bolt leaving two turns away from the end. Repeat this action on the opposite end including siliconing your second wooden piece to the nut. Now it's ready to start adjusting. On the left hand side, starting from the screw position, unscrew it one full turn. On the other end, screw the nut the whole way. Now gently push aside the tab of paper that's being used to separate the metallic paper from the battery and carefully roll your message without moving any other parts. Up until here is enough. After, hold on to the left nut while unrolling your message. Now to finish the note, you must repeat as before in rolling up your message, including gently pushing aside your tab of paper, but whilst holding both nuts on either side and only moving the central part. Once completed, proceed in preparing your message for the last time. Now it's ready to add your cover, but first carefully remove the safety tab of paper that you added earlier. You must not forget this step. Now you can stick the base using silicon on your small pieces of ice cream stick that were previously attached to the nuts. Once cooled, it should look like this. The next step is to make a slip for your note to be placed. Mark the width onto the second piece of cardboard tubing using your actual note like so. Use the ruler to help you join the marks. With your cutter, make the slit. 
Once you have it, check the note slides in easily. If it fits, you can stick the cardboard rolls together using your silicon. It will end up like this. If your note gets loose or starts to unravel, then you can adjust it by turning the screw as shown. Next step is to make a top to prevent your message from rolling inside your cover. Measure your skewer to be a bit longer than the length of your message. Then cut it and using your silicon, stick it to your note by rolling it around the skewer. It should look like this. Now give it its final adjustments before sealing it properly. Put silicon on the outside edges to attach your bottle lids. As soon as they're stuck, you're almost finished. The only thing left to do is to decorate it to cover the joins. This step, however, is optional. We've taken advantage of a cutting that we had and all we've done is stuck it using a glue stick. Now it's completed. This self-destructing device is an original and unique design by I'll show you how it's done. Pretend to be an authentic secret agent by sending and reading messages that self-destruct in only five seconds. Enjoy surprising your friends with this incredible invention that doesn't leave a trace. This is your video today. We hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you in the next one.